Mississippi today, officials are marking another important milestone as the Atlanta Beltline continues to close its loop around the city. Yeah, a new section is slated to open today, and it'll link several more in-town neighborhoods. Atlanta News First, Don Shipman is at Ansley Mall. Uh, Don, more places to walk and bike. It's never a bad thing. This right here is a critical link for the Beltline. Imagine this, you're in Midtown at the Rainbow Crosswalk and you want to go for a bike ride or a walk to grab a beer. You can do so by walking through Piedmont Park behind the Botanical Gardens, jumping onto the Beltline, which is unpaved in that area, making your way towards this area, which is right behind Ansley Mall, and then up the way there to Sweetwater for that beer. That becomes a reality with this link opening up today. This week, crews have been busy putting the finishing touches on the trail. For example, hosing down the pavement and inspecting the expansive lighting and security camera network. Now, this new section, which project leaders call Segment 2 of the Northeast Trail, spans just about a mile and a half. And to give you some perspective, the video you're looking at right here is directly behind the Publix in Ansley Mall. The Northeast Trail has multiple street access points, but its biggest benefit is that it links Midtown to neighborhoods like Piedmont Heights and and the Armor District. I'm so excited because I live actually near Ansley Mall, so I'm more than happy to expand new trail. I'm so excited to see more people out there. And they're setting up for a news conference at 10 o'clock this morning where they'll have a ribbon cutting as well for this section of the Beltline. Now, while this section is opening up today, work is still happening on the south side. Segments four and five still under construction and closed off in some areas. Construction on both of those sections slated to be completely done by 2025. In Ansley Park, Don Shipman, Atlanta News First. All right.